Hey Guardians, uh, how's it going? Just another rant video for today uh, where I'm going to be talking about uh, why season 13 is so good. Honestly, this could be more of ramblings than a rant, but then again, if you're expecting anything different from a rant video from a random guy on YouTube with 48 subscribers saying you've got something coming to you, I'm not, I'm not going to lie to you. Like, So, as you know, like uh, season 13 has been out for, I think it's a week and a half now. It's definitely been over a week anyway. But um, oh man, at, at the start, like I'm not gonna lie, I'm starting to drop off it now because I'm getting to that uh, to the point where you need to grind pinnacles to get any higher in light. But still, that's not gonna foreshadow or not foreshadow. It's not gonna shadow over like how good the start of the season felt and how good some things currently do feel like with Bungie. Like this the first week was brilliant, and now we're getting like we well we've already gotten the new battleground. We also got that like secret exotic quest mission thing. Which is phenomenal. I almost did that by myself, but I just didn't have enough time to complete it. So season 13, even though, like, of course I need to keep mentioning PvP, because, like, that's still a section of the game that's underdeveloped right now. Like, they're, like literally, since the content's been taken out of it, it's just... I don't know. Personally, like, for me, it's not that bad, because, like, I don't play Crucible that much. But I'd love to see a new note that says Rift, you know? I'm just saying, Bungie. I'm just saying. Like, even if you add no new maps, at least add new game modes, because then you won't need new maps. If you need to dedicate the team to making stuff like Battlegrounds, because I feel like instead of making Crucible maps, they made, like, Battleground maps, if you get me. Or at least they made, like, part of that Battleground map and so on. Like, if they're doing some environmental stuff like that in exchange for Crucible maps, I'm ground with that personally, because I'm a PV guy. But I understand why people hate that, because, you know, PvP kind of does need uh, some new content. Or at least reintroduce the old maps, bring them back, like, there's no need to take them out if, like, like, if you're doing Clash, have every map in existence play in that, like. I know there's some short maps, and or small maps, should I say, not short, but still, man, I, I don't know, maybe I'm not best, again, to talk about PvP, I already tried to talk about that in the last Crimson Day rant video, so yeah. Anyway, with that little PvP rant aside for a second... Let's just talk about Season 13. So, Battlegrounds is grand in a sense because it allows you to matchmake. It's not really grand when you play nine of them in a row. Of course, like, I don't think that's physically possible if you don't... Well, if you want to charge your hammer every time for every chest. But, like, I had nothing else to do and I want to try and get at least one more powerful before going for the pinnacles. And, yeah, I'm not going to lie, it's very tedious. At least next week... Uh, yeah, no, it's next week. They're going to add a new map and they're also adding Iron Banner. And that's another thing that annoys me, actually. Why is Lord Saladin still overseeing the Iron Banner when he's, like, taking part in the story? Where's Lady Efferty? Come on, just put her back there, alright? Like, it'd just be nice to hear, like, you know, even if she doesn't speak, act no, she can speak, actually. Just get the Destiny 1 voice lines and put them in Destiny 2, alright? Do whatever you have to. Just have her there. The only thing I'd see that'd be off is, like, trying to get her uh, model in on sh such short notice. But again, Bungie, you're tripling your size. Come on, bro. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. I shouldn't just put like hold them straight to it because like obviously they haven't done it yet, and it's like the I think it's like the end of 2022 or it's sometime in 2022 when they're meant to be fully like I'm gonna call it tripleized <laughs> because like that just sounds like a funny word to use. But yeah, man, just it's just mad in general that like you know actually I might as well start talking about no no fuck it we'll talk about uh we'll we'll talk about thing first. Actually, you know what? We'll talk about um, the the game first before we talk about Bungie. So there's Battlegrounds. Oh yeah, the new um, ritual weapon, pinnacle weapon, whatever it's called now. Uh, something Salvo or something. I, I don't know. I actually don't know the name, but I haven't really been trying to get it. I've just let it tick off in the background whilst I'm doing other things. Like I leave a grenade launcher on if I need to. And plus I'm trying to get the, uh, as I said in my uh, last tutorial video, Thikus Divination. I'm trying to get that bow... Um, that boat's catalyst because like it just gives me an extra little thing to do whilst i'm doing things as well so like once that catalyst is done i get to use a new weapon or well i say new weapon new exotic weapon uh that needs its catalyst on i did prospector recently and that's finished there's that hawk moon i finished as well i actually f finished quite a bit of them i have i even finished a uh, sky burners off at the start of the season but yeah no that grenade launcher though the pinnacle grenade launcher that it looks mad and like I've seen, like, I was just looking at Rick Hacks' video, and I've seen background gameplay, and it just kind of hold, like, two uh, grenade launcher shots at once, which is, like, that's madness, man. Now I really want it, but, like, I, I don't want to put the effort to grind in, man. Like, just yesterday I was grinding all day, and I grinded so much that I actually reverted to going back to watching anime. Like, that's how much I grind and how much I've, like, burnt myself out on Destiny right now. 
Now, that's not to say I'm going to take a break. I'm probably going to do, like, the raid today or even do, um, like, the uh, Deep Stone Crypt or even that exotic quest for Ting. Because, like, it's a short thing and I don't really want to just leave it there hanging. And plus, that gives a pinnacle drop per week, so I might have to do that weekly. I'm going to try it by myself first. Moving on from... I love the way I say PvP stuff aside, but that grenade launcher kind of ties into PvP as well. I remember seeing a meme where it's, like, that grenade launcher, the new SMG, and Anarchy is, like, the replacement for Mountaintop, Recluse... And uh, anarchy. Mad times. I actually could run that loadout as well, but you know what? Sunsetting is a thing. And plus, let's be fair, nobody wants uh, mountain top back unless it's in PVE. Then I'll accept it. But if it's in PVP, it can go away. So other than that, uh, the strikes. There's been a bit of issues with the strike, but man, that first week of just playing Devil's Lair was the best. Like honestly, Devil's Lair is like my favorite strike now in Destiny Two. Like, I don't know why. And, like, my previous favorite was, like, the Warden of Nothing. Because, like, it had... I think it's because of the nostalgia factor. Because the Prison of Elders was in the Warden of Nothing strike. And, plus, the Devil's Lair in upon itself is literally a massive, like, nostalgia moment, you know? Like, you're going back in time to play it. And it plays the Sepik's Perfected music as well. I think that's what it was called. Oh, that's mad, man. Uh, it's still a pity, though. We still haven't gotten the Fallen Sabre yet. But I think they said that's going to be this coming week. And if we, even if we don't get that... I'd say that new uh, Proving Ground strike should be coming soon anyway in March, so that should be grand. And yeah, no, even just like the different UI setup and even the weekly challenges. Like honestly, the weekly challenges is going to be the one thing that actually has me log in every week to Destiny. And not just log in and then log straight out because there's nothing to do, you know? Like, honestly, like, some of them are a bit tedious. Like, there's, there's this one seasonal challenge I can't do yet because I need to unlock a mod or two. Um, and one character says 11 and the other two says 10. It's kind of confusing. But I need to unlock two more seasonal mods. And honestly, I'll just keep checking the helm. Like, and if I just see it available, I'll just buy it so I'll have that done. I think that's it. There's not really much else to talk about. The bow is kind of cool upon itself. I've used it a lot, obviously, especially when I was grinding for the Umbral Engrams, which I actually have that done as well. I think that's another reason why I'm feeling a bit burnt out because I'm actually done all that now. Yeah, no, I, I don't think I'll keep you any longer. I think that's all I really wanted to rant about when it comes to Destiny. Uh, if you guys have any suggestions what I should talk about in Destiny 2 next, let me know. Yeah, you know what? No, I said I was going to end it. I would talk about Bungie's expansion thing, but I might talk about that another day. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, obviously like it. Dislike if you didn't like it. I've got a nosebleed in the middle of my recording. What the? I know you guys don't see this. Oh my god. Jesus Christ. That's like the fourth day in a row I've been getting nosebleeds. Help. Like, oh my god. Sorry, it, it's tickling my nose so much and it's making me tear up a bit. I'll just end this before it gets out of hand. Anyway, if you guys liked the video, obviously like it. Dislike if you didn't like it. Comment if you want. Subscribe if you want. And hit the bell if you do so desire. Hopefully you don't hear too much of that uh, wiping I just did there as I'm trying to stop myself from bleeding to death. And I'll see you again in another video. See yous.